the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're in anger for those who are hurting. We're a harbor for those who are lost. Sometimes it's not always easy. For our good night message on this Tuesday, the 26th of January 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled, Do Not Be Ashamed of the Gospel. Today, in celebrating the memorial of Titus and Timothy, we read from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. And in that passage, we saw the exhortation of Paul to Timothy. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me, the prisoner, but share in suffering of the gospel by the power of God, not to be ashamed of the gospel is a recommendation that Paul gives to Timothy because he himself was not ashamed of the gospel. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes to the Jew first and also to the Greeks. In a day when so many are reluctant to share their faith Paul wants us to be reminded that we have every reason to share our faith, to let people know that the gospel of Christ is the reason for our being. Why? Because we received grace. When no one loved us, he did. When we were dirty in sin, he died for us. When we deserved nothing, he rose to give us life. He rose not only to give us life, but also to give us peace and grace. We have received grace. Paul reminds us of God's gift of Jesus Christ in Romans chapter 1 verse 4 when he says he died for us and because we have received grace, he wants us to live for him. Because we have received grace, we want the world to know about what we have received. Just as Abraham lived by faith of the promise of Christ to come, we live by faith in accordance with grace. We have this promise by faith that Christ died for us. Romans chapter 4 verse 16. When we didn't deserve it, he promised that through faith in Christ Jesus alone, we are saved by grace. Of course, we are not ashamed that we have faith in the promise that Christ will come again. The combination of his grace and promise combined with our faith is unfathomable. They are the reason why we should not be afraid at all to proclaim Christ is that we receive peace with God. In a world that often seems void of peace, both internally and personally, we are offered peace through Christ and with Him. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. We can exult in the hope of the glory of God because no matter what tribulation may come, COVID-19, God gives that inner peace and hope. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, God's unending peace is poured into our hearts and souls. This peace makes us unashamed of the gospel. We won't be ashamed of the gospel. We'll tell people about what we believe in. We'll tell people about the God who comes to us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. This whole world